The Italian ambassador to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Luca Antanasio, has been killed in an attack on a UN envoy. Senior Italian diplomats confirmed the killings early on Monday and talking to agencies, the top official said that the ambassador was on a fact-finding mission to the troubled eastern region of DRC, where the convoy for the UN's World Food Program was attacked in an attempted kidnapping by unknown assailants. The Italian foreign minister has condemned the quote-unquote cowardly at attack and said that the envoy's body will be brought back to Italy soon. We are activating all the relevant institutions to get to the truth as soon as possible about this cowardly attack that these two servants of the state of ours have suffered and lost their lives from. And at the same time, we have already taken steps to bring their bodies back to Italy as soon as possible. I will also soon report to the parliament to which I have given immediate availability. The Italian president has denounced the cowardly attacks. Mattarella said that the Italian Republic is mourning the loss of the servants who lost their lives and offered his deepest sympathies. The newly appointed Prime Minister Mario Draghi has also offered his deepest condolences to the victim's family. Meanwhile, the President of the European Council, Charles Michel, took to Twitter saying that he is shocked by the attack on the convoy in DRC. An Italian military personnel has also been killed in the violent attack, part of the envoy's security detail. Local reports, however, suggest that another person, the car's driver, had also lost his life. The European Union has condemned the attacks, making a public statement. Nabila Masrali, the European Commission spokesperson, has said that the news of the attacks is extremely worrying and that the bloc is closely monitoring the situation as of now. We have seen the reports on the attack of, uh, on the UN convoy, including the initial reports of the death of the uh, ambassador of Italy. Uh, the news are extremely worrying and we are following the situation closely with the EU delegation in DRC. Uh, the HRVP has uh, reported uh, this to the FAC and presents its condolences to Italy, to the UN and to the victims of the violence in Congo. It is not yet clear who was behind these attacks and no group has claimed responsibility for them. Dozens of armed groups operate in and around the region. These attacks are not new. Last month, six park rangers were attacked and killed in an ambush in the region. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.